In this video, we will be talking about the science behind paper airplanes. In order to do this, we must first start by understanding what a force is. A force is an interaction that changes the motion of an object. The Earth is always exerting a force on you, gravity. It is what causes apples to fall from trees and what brings you back down when you jump. Similarly, there are also forces acting on paper airplanes. So what are these forces? The first force is the force of gravity, which we talked about just now. Gravity pulls the paper airplane downward. The next force, the force that opposes gravity, is the force of lift. Lift pushes the plane upwards. If you've ever stuck your hand out of a fast-moving car, you will notice that your hand will start to tilt. This is caused by lift. In real planes, the wing of an airplane separates high and low pressure air. Low pressure air is on the top and high pressure air is on the bottom, and the high pressure air pushes the plane upward. For paper airplanes, however, they are thrown upwards at first and travel in a parabolic path, so lift is created by using Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, therefore every force must have an equal and opposite force. Air hits the wings and is deflected downward. This downward force will result in an equal force in the upward direction, pushing the plane upward. The third force acting on a paper airplane is drag. Drag is what pushes the plane backwards. It's basically air resistance, and it slows the plane down. The last force is the force that opposes drag, which is thrust. Thrust pushes the plane forward, and you exert this force when you throw the plane. And that's it. Those are the four main forces that act on a paper airplane. But you may notice that your plane will not fly straight every time. This is because of a variety of factors. One possible issue that you could run into is that the plane nosedives. This is because the center of gravity is in front of the center of lift, which pitches the nose downward and allows the plane to gain speed. However, doing this to too extreme an extent will cause the plane to nosedive. You can fix this issue by bending the back corners up a bit so that it balances out the downward tilt. You may also notice that your plane does not fly straight. It may spin around in the air, or it may make a U-turn and come back to where you are standing. There is a fairly simple solution to this issue. Just increase the dihedral angle. Simple as that. The dihedral angle is the angle between the body of the plane and the wing, as shown in the picture. If your wings are too flat, or the angle too small, then the uneven airflow passing over the plane will cause the plane to roll over. Increasing the dihedral angle causes this issue to be negated by the other wing, so increasing this angle allows your plane to fly straight. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something from it. The link to the tutorial for making the paper airplane used in this video will be pasted in the description box below. Of course, these principles that I explained in the video will work with any paper airplane.